in all my excitement of FM22 and, and, and getting this job and starting this, uh, you know, Sunday League to Premier League, journeyman save, probably didn't consider the enormity of the task at hand, uh, taking over uh, Potter here in Iceland, and the fact that if we did get relegated, I would get fired. Um, but things have been looking pretty good. Let's go and find out. <laughs> Hi guys, Woody here and welcome back. This is episode 2 of the Sunday League to Premier League uh, Journeyman Save. Um, if you've missed the last couple of episodes, I'd recommend going back and checking them out. Um, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, I definitely recommend, uh, I, I mean, I'd, I would recommend subscribing and can consider it. It's, it's a, don't consider it too long though. Just, just do it, hit that bell, subscribe. I'm getting pretty close to 200. I can feel it. It's going to be coming soon. So if you could help out with that, that'd be great. Also as well, uh, don't forget to hit that like button. So it's a good thing. And uh, chuck a comment down there. Let me know if you're enjoying this. Uh, let me know what you're doing on your FM22 save. Are you doing a journeyman? Have you ended up in Iceland as well? Um, anyway, so this I think is the only screen where it doesn't tell you in what league position we are in. So, um, because as I said in the intro, things have been going pretty, pretty good. Anyway, I've got some staff in. Coaches aren't that great, but um, good here in the Scouts Chief, Scout Director of Football, and my medical staff are pretty good, so that is good. Obviously, as the rules state, I'm missing a scout, so I've just placed the advert for that scout, which I thought I did. But anyway, I didn't. So, uh, here we go. Let's go have a look at this schedule. So, uh, I left you after our first game here against... Uh, <clears throat> clears throat, throat. Uh, Grindavik, which we lost 1-0. We then played Grotta, who were top of the table. We beat them 2-0. 2-0. Daddy Bergson is good. And the Englishman, Kai Caro Edwards-Johns. They go on the score sheet. That was looking good. Then we played this team, Cord... Cord Renger. I'm butchering every name here. And Daddy Bergson got himself a double there. So that was good. We then drew 1-0 with Poor. I think it's Poor, maybe. Poor. Anyway, that wasn't too bad because they're pretty decent in this. I think they're like fourth or something in the league. Um, so, you know, we can't complain too much. We're away from home. Uh, we then beat, here we go, Aftrudling. Aftrudling, maybe. Aftrudling. We beat them 1-0. And they're about 4th or 5th as well, I think. So that was a really, really good uh, victory there as well. And as you can see, we've played 4 games. We have won 3 of them. And uh, drawn 1. And actually conceded 1 goal. So we've been looking really, really good there. Uh, as you can see up the top here, we are actually 10th in the league. So we have, we have dragged ourselves out of that relegation zone. This is when I took over here. Uh, well, actually, that game there... Um, yeah, we lost that game. That was our first game. Then we came up, and uh, we went on our little little winning run there. So we are two points over Vikingo. O, I think that's how you say it. And and realistically, like I like the fact that our goal difference is so low at negative four because we're kind of here. Like a good win and Vesti Vestri, they 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 muck up. You know, we we can we can get climbed to seventh. Okay, there's still a few games left. I've targeted about nine points from the five games, I think. Yeah, five games, nine, nine. I think IBV, who are top of the table, and Fajolnia, who are third, they could be quite tough. Ten, ten would be an amazing uh, points tally. So that's what's happened there. Transfers-wise, um, we've got a heap of guys here coming on loan who have just been sort of picked up by my uh, director of football, which is a... Uh, Use him, get a suggestion, looking good. We're way over the wage budget, but yeah, who cares about that? Um, what else? Um, tactic. Uh, just sort of slightly tweaked it. We've got the wing play there. I changed some instructions, changed some player stats. We do have the exact same copy. It just doesn't counter and counter press. Just give the players that rest um, there. So that is good. I mean, transfers wise, we kind of jump back here. Transfers history, I haven't got anyone. So no one new came in. The window shut, job done. We're stuck with a team 
um, that we have. So anyway, with that being said, uh, I think we're looking pretty good now. So I was a bit nervous at first. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to get fired from here. We're going to have to find something else. But uh, I mean, I think, fingers crossed, I'm going to be pretty safe. Uh, so with that being, I mean, if we, we beat Vikingo here and last game against Selfos, we're safe, I think. I think. Um, so with that being said, I should probably go look for a house in Iceland in Reykjavik, actually, which is where we are. We're in the capital, Reykjavik. So let's go house hunting, eh? So here we are. Uh, I used a mortgage counter. I used a Halifax one. It's what Lujo uses. So no sponsorships there. And it's actually quite easy to use. I don't know why it is pulsating like that. It is very, very strange. It wasn't doing that a minute ago. But um, maybe it's like Ben Halifax trying to force me to get a mortgage with them. Anyway, on the, on the amount that we're on, £400 a week, uh, we can borrow this much. So £321,000 for a house. Now, Obviously, we're in Iceland, so then I had to go over and I had to transfer it into Icelandic krona, which is about 56.5 million Icelandic krona. So then I was like, okay, I have absolutely no idea how much that is. Anyway, so let's go and then have a look uh, at where we are. So this is Reykjavik. Uh, if we zoom out, Reykjavik here. Excellent. There's the airport. So the stadium is right here. Proctor Stadium there. It's in the ice rink. Actually, the zoo is looking good. So, and then, the place I found is down here. I'm not going to say this name. Gnod Gnu Avogla. Yeah, that place there. So, we found an apartment down here. I think it's nice. It's not too far, really. We jump on this road, and we drive up, and, and we're at work. So, it's not too bad, and we're near the uh, Barry working ground. I don't know what that is, but we're there. So, then, I found a house, an apartment. I found this space. So 41 million krona. Um, we can afford that. Brilliant. And we still have some left in the bank. So let's have a quick look at this. Big backyard there. So it's a communal thing. And this is a very thin wall. Very strange. But um, it, it's it's very new. Lovely, you know, there. Going out onto the balcony. Um, dining room. Nice balcony. Overlooking the water there. Is that the water or is that just... No, it's not. It's just more buildings. Good, good cheeky little apartment here. A couple of bedrooms. That's a strange picture. Uh, there's there's one of the bedrooms there with a very weird blanket. It almost looks like tinfoil. Um, that that toilet looks very dated for this new apartment. A couple of car parking spots. Excellent. Look at this. What a great spot. So this is where we're going to go. I've got in contact with Hemir Holgrimson and uh, the. Uh, it's pretty much done and dusted. And look at this. Look at this. One minute to the shop and to the bus. Lovely, lovely place to uh, to get into, uh, to, to move into. So I think we're, we're going to be putting down roots here in Iceland. Uh, and, you know, let's go and play this game because that's why we're here. We're not here to I mean, look at Icelandic properties. This took a long time, mind you. I spent, I spent hours trying to figure this out. Anyway. All right. And we're back to why you all turned up here. Watch Football Manager. What a man. Try and find Icelandic properties. Right, so here we go. This is the team. I'm kind of getting to know these guys a little bit now. We've got Lalek in goal here. His contract's actually running out, and the board is saying don't renew it, but he's been playing pretty well for me, as you can see. Londo on loan and left back. Magnuson also, he's on loan, You're playing pretty good as well. And Hill Marson there. Christensen on the left hand side. We need a new left back, probably. Andy Holt, who sounds old, and I thought he was until I realized he's 17. So he's also on loan. Uh, Houston, the captain and my assistant manager in that deep line playmaker role. Um, and uh, Good Munderson has come into the midfield there because I've dropped. Uh, it's just uh, go there and get rid of those one more place because I've dropped. Uh, I dropped someone. I can't remember who it was. Uh, Stephenson. Stephenson. He hasn't been playing too well, so he's, he's dropped down to the bench. Marina is on the left because we've had a lot of issues with the left side of defence. And he's an Albanian 17 year old from out the youth team. He's only starting because Freyson is a little bit tired. So he's out of the youth team as well, 18. Got some good youth players down there. We might have a look at them later. And uh, this is a star man, obviously. Uh, Pario, Pario Edwards Johns uh, on the right. He has been playing magnificently. And up, up front, we've got the daddy. Uh, yep, sounds good. We'll order a number then. There the kids, submit the numbers. Let's go. Confident about this. I mean, this is a huge game. Huge game. I literally just bought an apartment. 
Um, if we lose this game, it, it could be um, it could be curtains. Everyone's starting to get motivated, which is good. That's what I like to see. Usually, when we start off, and you have no reputation. The team talk the players like, "Who the hell is this guy?" Doesn't even know what he's talking about. Anyway, let's go. Oh, come on, Protus. So Icelandic pronunciations are killing me. Though. Absolutely killing me. So we are just above the relegation zone. A win here, when we would go to 21 and pop up into ninth. Give us a good bit of breathing room. Give us four points off the Viking off here. Um, actually, and I have a feeling that I might have. Oh, try, try. No, I'm trying the right tactic. Good, excellent. Not doing much though. 35 minutes and nothing. I'm going to demand some more for the last 10 minutes. Uh, XG wise, we've had five shots on target. We're killing it here. Um, but we'll go straight to half time with absolutely not one highlight. So. Uh, it's time for everyone to dig in. We're going to give them the individual pip, pip talk, pep talk, and this has absolutely motivated two people. 17 year old and my assistant manager. Um, we're going to chuck this up and we're going to go very attacking because, like I said, this is a must win game. But we've actually gone up to ninth here anyway, except because Grindelbeck must be losing there. But have I, I've literally. I have brought you guys back for a game with highlights. Can, can we just, I just, no, we have key highlights on. Okay, good, good. Um, Edwards Johns is looking a bit tired. I've asked, I've made him do a lot of work. And then Freyson on. I'm going to swap Freyson there with, um, and uh, he, he'll just play as a, a regular winner on support. Uh, on that, the daddy is not having a good game, so we'll bring on. Oh, no, we won't. We will bring on Sam Ford, uh, who scored a cracking goal uh, a couple of games ago. So hopefully, this does something else. We'll keep that mentality on attacking. Are we going to go through the whole game and not have a highlight? That would be. Oh, here we go. Oh. So I like them. No, oh, but Lalich gets the ball. Let's go very attacking. I'm, I'm like attacking, very attacking, attacking, very attacking. Lalich boots the ball up, and it is with uh, Viking at the moment. Is Willard with the ball? Uh, maybe we shouldn't have gone very. I'm, I'm, I'm so nervous. Back to attacking. Just bought this apartment in uh, in Reykjavik, and uh, it all hinges on the <laughs> on me not getting sacked. <laughs> and uh, Viking are just hitting the ball round. I mean, a draw wouldn't be the worst thing at the moment. Uh, good Munderson there in the midfield is not playing well. This doesn't look good. We've conceded. Oh, we've conceded. That is not good news. All right. I'm going to pause here. And look. I can't believe I win all these games. And then... Um, And Stephenson back on here. We have a team to point the finger. Go out there and make me proud, mate. Come on, this is not what we wanted. Hill Marson with all Magnuson. Houston now. Houston back to Hottie. Hottie, Hill Marson. Good man, good Madison. There's too many sons here. Frayson down the left. He tries to cross in and we get a corner. Blondel with the corner, chips it in. <laughs> we couldn't get that in. We couldn't get that in. We need to go very attacking here. We've got to shout the man more. This is ridiculous. This is going to pull us straight back into the relegation zone. How do we play so well against all those other teams? And then we come up against a team who are. Uh, this far down the bottom of the table, and we just struggle. We are on a bit of attack here. And it is Andy Marina. He's kept a wonderful move in the 86th minute. Look at that cross. That was the youngster, Frayson. Was it Frayson with the cross there? Let's have a look at this. Frayson, he looks pretty good, actually. Now he gets it back to Christensen, the left back, and he gets it in, and Marina heads it into the back of the goal. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to encourage them. I try and push this for a win. It's not quite the breathing room I wanted, but it will do. Away from home, we should have XG wise. It was, I mean, we shouldn't have let them score really. 
Um, yeah, I'll tell them that. I think that's the way to go. Boss, well, that was some nerve-wracking kind of stuff. Right. Oh. Uh, yeah. Um, okay, Board of Rejected Coaching Co Rules. I've got a whole bunch of trials coming in. Let me just pause that quickly. Hold on. All right, I just accepted a whole lot of trials. We've got about 30 guys on trial. What is weird as well is this. Um, I've got the Colombian leagues loaded up. Have a look. Nationality-wise, can we click on that? No. Have a look nationality-wise. So many Colombians coming in. That's some good players in here. So uh, this guy here, Dalla Dominguez. I think I showed him to you first time, but uh, he wants a lot of money. He's going to be a no. We've got these guys here, Carlos Sanchez and uh felipe caballero um trying to get them in as well so there's a few players um ah those other ones haven't turned up at the club let's continue and we'll uh this this will be the 28 we're like, okay so he could be good good look at these look at these four three four and a half okay he's no um friend player and he's fine We'll still keep going. There's some good players though. We ask Landy guys not so much. Uh, okay, we're getting Dylan Chisel. Where's Thomas? He's 34 though. Tick, tick, tick. All right, good. No. All right, let's just have a look. Um, we deserve far more than that, I think. All right, let's just have a look at the squad again. So. Nationality wise, but look at all these Colombians. It is coming out the woodwork. Joiner Herrazo, he could be pretty good. So I think it's because I've got Colombian leagues selected. We're getting all these Colombians, weirdly, that my scouts are finding and the director of football's recommended. Very bizarre. Very bizarre. Where's Thomas? Let me get him to go. All right, so guys, I know it was only one episode and it was a little bit shorter, but we're kind of getting to the end of the season. I don't do want to chop this first one up with. With too many episodes. Um, so I'll go away, I'll play Vesti and I'll play Fajon Fajon <laughs> IBV. That's one I can say. Maybe she'll call the IBV one and then uh, we'll come back for the final uh, final day, uh, final day, final game of the season against Selfos. And hopefully um, we've starved off relegation. Now I had said we'll collect 10 points from this. Uh, this was one of the games Lady marks is three. So it's not the best start, but we're ninth. We have two points clear of Viking Vikinger. Okay. It's gonna come down to this last game against Selfos. We've got a good goal difference, so I'm really, really happy. Some of this squad can just stay a little bit uh some of this squad can stay a little bit fit. We've got some tired, tired players. I'm making them press a bit. We're trying to you know, I've got the pressing on, and obviously these guys aren't up to that because, you know, uh, you know, you look at Edwards Johns here, his stamina is 7. Okay, so natural fitness of 9. So I've got this tactic in here, it's basically the exact same copy, copy of the other one, except we don't, we don't counter, um, and don't uh, counter press, and then in this one here, we just trigger press just slightly more often, not at all. So, um, that's how that one works. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, this series and you enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, where if you could do that, that would be great. Hit that like button, comment, and um, I'll see you guys for that final game of the season. I hope I don't have to put that apartment up for sale. Maybe we should get in contact with that real estate agent again, right? Eh?